So uh, this is a video about how to measure a dog for a full quad cart. We have here a 14-year-old dachshund with a cervical issue and lame front leg, arthritic rear, so I think a quad or a front wheeler would be the best solution for him. The measurements you take for a quad or a front wheeler are the same. So the first thing you want to do is to have a team of people, uh, a person at the back and a person at the front supporting the dog in a healthy, normal weight-bearing stance. So let's get the team yeah. up and get, and get the dog up and support the dog. And you want to get make sure that the front legs are weight-bearing and standing under the shoulder blades, and that's good. Try not to knuckle, honey. Yeah, I know. Okay, and then for measurement A, you put your hand on the dog's scapula and measure to your hand, and the number is 11. For B, you go from the center of the shoulder to the front of the thigh, and we have 13 and a half. For C, you measure the widest part of the drumstick, from the inguinal fold to the ischium, and we're getting three and three quarters. For D, you come around, put your finger between the dog's legs, and measure to your finger, six. I'm going to skip E's and go to G. <coughs> I'm going to get him up for F, I mean. F is the space between the front legs. And I'm just going to look there. And it's three and a half. And this it helps us to design a harness. For <coughs> G, it's from the center of the shoulder to the point of the chest. And this for a front wheeler is a critical measurement because it positions the, the wheels for us. And for a quad, it tells us how long the whole dog is, and I'm getting four inches. Okay. And then H is... We need to get him up a little bit more in the front. Yep. There we go. H is... And I've got a fatty like homie here I want to take into account. So I'm saying three and a half. So always take into account any fatty lipomas and bumps and include them in your measurements. Mm -hmm. And this is the e-measurement. We use a caliper. There are directions on the website about how to make one out of a cardboard box. You just cut two right angles. And you place the arms of the caliper so that it's barely brushing the fur and measure the width of the dog. Six at the shoulders. Then at the widest part of the rib cage. Think of it as a little wiggle room. You want this to be a comfortable, loose jeans fit. And because this dog has cushions and probably will bloat at some points, I want to make this one pretty loose to allow for that. And also because he's going to get pooched out by the harness, I'm going to put my hand under him the way it will be in the cart so that we make sure that the cart we build is wide enough for him to be comfortable. And that made a big difference. It's seven and three quarters in the middle. And at the lump, you want to take into account the, wide, the biggest musculature of the thigh. This is where the saddle is, and we want to make sure he can use his back legs comfortably. And for that, we got <laughs> six and three quarters. Six and three quarters. And then... Energy. Um, we need to do center of shoulder to center, center, of, thigh. Shoulder to center of thigh, and that's a double check measurement for us. And we get 15, and that should be B plus half of C, and that works out just fine. Mm -hmm. And J is <laughs> the height of the rump, and that should be, if we have a level top line, almost the same as what A was. So let's I'll we'll check that and we get 10. Yep. But he's bracing a little on the front, so let's just make it whatever it is. 10, 10, 10 and a half, yep. Sure. And if this dog were a wobbler and needed a headrest, we would measure from his chin to the floor for a headrest. <laughs> I don't think he needs a headrest for this particular dog. But if he did, it would be 7 and a half. Okay. Okay. 
And that is how you measure for a quad card. If you are a veterinarian or even if you are a homeowner and doing this, uh, feel free to call us when you're taking these measurements. Run them by the person in the office. And if we have questions about any of the measurements, we'll tell you which ones to double check and we do. Thank you very much.